Okay, so you know why we brought you in today? Uh, no. You guys said you wanted to help us improve our videos, right? Yes, that's exactly it. If you really want to thrive and have people notice you in the social media sphere, you really gotta dedicate your time to talking about serious issues and major political talking points. It shows that you're up to date with big important issues and that you're socially conscious. But guys, what exactly are political talking points? You really don't know anything about political talking points? I thought you were as terminally online as the rest of us. Oh, I am. I definitely am. But, uh, I still don't exactly know what a politic is. Really? You don't know anything at all? Well, I do know about kings and queens and princes and princesses. Does that count? Nice to him. He's only a boy. Watch a critic. What about you? Do I know anything about politics? Um, I, I, I don't know. I think so. You know, the two mainstream political parties, there's the Democrats... And the Republicans? Yeah, yeah, I think I've, think I've heard of those. Good, good, that's very good. So what do you know about them exactly? Well, um, I think one side's really into the 360, and I think the other one is really into the movie The Incredibles. <sighs> They're useless. It's okay, it's okay. I, I'm an expert on a lot of this stuff. I'm very highly educated on a lot of political theory, and I think that in a matter of time, I'll get you both fitted in perfectly to the political side of the internet. Oh, no, no. You are not taking charge. You're just going to steamroll the whole thing and make them act like a bunch of easily offended hipster tanky sympathizers like yourself. Oh, yeah? And you're going to do so much better? You're probably going to teach them to become a bunch of Bible-thumping, flag-waving, bigoted incels or something. Well, let's just see what we're working with here. What do you two make videos on? My Little Pony. Specifically, Friendship is Magic, because G4 is what got me into the brony fandom in the first place. Okay, you see, that right there, that's our first problem we have to highlight. As far as I can tell, bronies are just another extension of far-right ideology, mainly because they've taken something that was aimed for women and young girls and steamrolled it so that it's all for a bunch of middle-aged men. So not only is that incredibly misogynistic, it basically means that you're a Nazi. Don't listen to him. He calls everyone he doesn't like a Nazi. Now, Pony Fanboy, as your brother, you know I love you, but I just don't understand. What, what is the appeal of My Little Pony? I mean, according to Matt Walsh, he says that that show's just a bunch of woke propaganda that has elements of girl power and, and gay rainbow horses with wings. Not only is that incredibly emasculating, it's also incredibly childish. Oh yeah, this coming from the guy that reviews poorly made cartoons and veggie tales for a living. I heard that. Guys, I never really thought about stuff like that before. I just made videos talking about MLP episodes and other Friendship is Magic related stuff because I just love talking about the show and the fandom and all that kind of good stuff. You'd still get really triggered if people said that they didn't like the series, correct? I mean, yeah, it would definitely make me feel a little bit bummed out. But then I just remember my favorite things about the show and the fandom, and then I don't feel so bad. I just don't like it when people say that Rarity is the best pony. That really hurts my feelings. Well, little brother, I hate to tell you this, but facts don't care about feelings most of the time. Like, for example, I think it's a fact that most of the characters in that show are terrible. Except for the yellow one with the, the pink hair. I, I think her name was Fluttershy, correct? Ah, uh, I knew I'd get you to like at least one pony, Chris. Well, I do videos about water-related things, mostly bottled water, because I just think it's so interesting. But I also talk about other water-related stuff, like movies that have water in the title, like Water Boy and Water World and stuff like that. Okay, perfect. That's a great way to start. Water. Plastic. Big companies. You can do videos talking about how water around the world is being polluted by these big oil companies that are dumping oil and polluting our oceans and killing innocent sea life. And also maybe you can connect it back to uh, global warming, maybe? There we go, the obvious leftist myth that is global heating. Yeah, the world's just magically getting hotter. Here's what you can do. You can make a video telling people to dump oil in the streets and throw plastic off of highways. That way you'll really trigger the snowflakes. Whatever you do, don't do that. See, typical evil Republicans talking about how they want to destroy the world for profit. Oh, that's the other thing. You should constantly throw in references to how capitalism is the most evil thing to ever happen to the world. It'll really stick it to those alpha males and dude bros and other kinds of chuds. Yeah, that's coming from the guy who shops at Whole Foods and drinks Starbucks and buys Apple products. I heard that! 
I'm sorry, I'm really lost. What exactly are they talking about? I have no idea what they're talking about. Your side sexualized the green M&M! You ruined Star Wars! You just believe every single conspiracy theory you hear that everyone you don't like is a pedophile! You said that everyone that prefers Oppenheimer over Barbie is a misogynist! You support racist country singers! You allowed Satanists to ruin Knott's Berry Farm and the Grammys! You love and support billionaires because you hate the poor! You pretend to hate billionaires just because you can't get a job, all the while defending liberal celebrities that you agree with! You're a sexist fascist! Well, you're a stuttering communist! Oh yeah? Well, you're stupid! You're stupid! Nuh-uh! Hey, I'm trying to record upstairs, alright? What's everyone fucking yelling about? Um, you guys, if I could throw out a suggestion. Maybe you guys shouldn't argue as much about your differences and instead try working together so that way you can help make the world a better place for everybody. What? Work with a conservative Christian? Ew. Try to compromise with a liberal vegan snowflake? Ew. That would be the worst thing to ever happen since Trump. That sounds like the worst thing to ever happen since Biden. I don't know, maybe you guys need a second opinion here. Maybe you guys need the opinion of someone who thinks a little bit more about this stuff than we do. Hey, um, what do you think about these guys and their, their politics? What do I think? Well, I think that Chris T. Ian is a turd. Hi! Yes, that means he's on my side! And I think that this Peter Collins guy, or whatever your name is, sounds like a total douche. Ow, my feelings! Ha! That means he's on my side! Okay, you see, that right there? That's your guys' problem. You guys make everything a matter of sides. It's me versus the world, us versus them. You're both morons. Simple as that. You're both the most obnoxious members of your own political siding. Hey, maybe this one's just me, but I have no idea who this guy is. I want to say it's MediaWiz, but he doesn't wear glasses. So I think he's the guy from the Blockbuster videos? Maybe? I, I don't know either. I fucking hate you guys.